I have had a ton of inquiries as to how I handle my affairs. Now, I'm just going to be brutally honest. I have helped a lot of people win their court cases, all right? And it's not a secret, and it's not fucking hard. It's not rocket scientist, people. I understand that most of you have been conditioned of the mind to believe that you must respect authority. Well, I am the fucking authority. I am the alpha and the fucking omega, as far as I'm concerned, all right? And the way that you uh, can assert yourself in a manner that people will stop fucking with you with simulated legal processes and sham legal pleadings is by understanding how it all works. And it goes back to the basic fundamentals of the Constitution, the Federalist Papers, the Anti-Federalist Papers. You have to be knowledgeable in this literature, okay? It's how the society was structured. I think it's funny when people say that the Constitution only applies in the United States. Well, those are people who don't understand what equity is, okay? Because the Constitution was founded on sound doctrines and sound principles that universally apply to every fucking nation. Leave people the fuck alone. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. Don't touch what doesn't fucking belong to you. It's pretty fucking simple, all right? So, when I have some shit dick fucking attorney who thinks he's Moody Mustafa, try and bring a simulated legal process against me with sham legal uh, proceedings without a verified claim and verified criminal complaint sworn to by a real party in interest, guess what? I nail his ass to the fucking wall, all right? Especially when he's using a false and fictitious unregistered uh, pseudo name, okay? For example, first name, middle initial, last name. All right, I nail their nuts to the wall on that shit. I go after standing before I ever go into the issue of jurisdiction, and I don't challenge jurisdiction by saying I'm challenging jurisdiction. I challenge jurisdiction with simple questions, and if they cannot be answered, then be it resolved. This son of a bitch has no standing in law or at law. Either way, I don't care what jurisdiction you're playing in. You are fucked. F-U-C-K-E-D, fucked, all right? Your ass belongs to me. My time is extraordinarily valuable. I will place whatever value I see fit on it. If you piss around and fuck around and find out, you will quickly see that you have no way out from me, all right? You people... And by you people, I mean you people with a set of fucking proverbial testicles that can stand up and sound off like you got a fucking pair ought to understand this very quickly, all right? Where is your warrant of attorney, delegation of authority, articles of incorporation, corporate charter, and bylaws to represent this fucking fictitious entity you allege to represent, okay? If you don't have it, you don't have standing. If you put a motion to dismiss, I will quash that motion to dismiss because you haven't even proven you have standing to fucking make a motion before the court in the first instance. Are we clear? That's how simple it is. This is why I have created great disdain for me within the legal society because I put my boot up their fucking ass. I do not play games. I do not beat around the bush. I am very fucking direct. You either have the shit or you don't. Secondly, in my jury trial, all right, or the, the, the trial by way of jury, which wasn't a trial by way of jury because they are two different things, all right, I, I made it very perfectly clear with a, a shit ton of poignant points and remedies not only statutorily found, but also remedies that were found equitably, period, end of story. That's why that case went oof abracadabra because there were too many people carrying the primary active degree of fault carrying so much liability it would cause them their retirement that's why it went away point blank and simple all right so there's a simulated legal process using sham legal pleadings for which no real party in interest had made an appearance before the court sworn to under the pains and penalties of perjury independently bonding the claim as an american man if they do not have an injured party stating harm, damage, injury, and loss with a verified claim, with an affidavit in support, their fucking argument is moot. They have no standing. They have no impersonum jurisdiction. 
no no subject matter jurisdiction. They fall flat on their fucking face. Not some of the time, not part of the time, every motherfucking time. Every motherfucking time. So I do a conditional acceptance. I conditionally accept your offer to contract because that's what it is. Everything equates to contract. Their silence being acquiescence. It's a quid pro quo. It's simple shit, guys. And no matter how much I teach it and I preach it and I lead by example and I show it, people still can't wrap their heads around it. It's that simple. It really is that simple. A contract must be mutually agreed upon must be mutually beneficial for all parties involved. Cannot use any false, misleading, and deceptive trade practices or language, ladies and gentlemen. The law is so simple, even a single-celled amoeba is expected to understand and comprehend what the law is. So why are people struggling so much in court? If the law is that simple that every man should know it, how come you struggle so much to make you a very poignant and valid point in a courtroom. Because you're before an administrative law clerk. You're not before a judge. There hasn't been a judge in this country since fucking 1791. You have to understand the difference in the jurisdictions. And for people that say the Constitution doesn't apply, okay, fine, maybe the Constitution doesn't apply. Sound doctrines and principles still fucking apply. All right, and the Constitution was based on sound doctrines and fucking principles. End of fucking story. Yes, I'm amped up. Yes, I want to put a fire underneath your fucking ass and a fire in your belly. Because this country is being run by a bunch of political fucking tyrants. Criminals. And I'll be damned if I'm going to be told what to do while I'm here by a bunch of shit-stained child molesting pieces of shit. Never going to happen. Ever. Ever. I give zero fucks about their opinions. Zero. Zero. So, I hope this put a fire underneath your ass, gave you a, a few hard-hitting questions to ask these dipshits. Because remember, assume facts not in evidence on the record don't fucking exist. So until you prove who you are, until you prove that you represent this corporate charter, until you prove that you have a letter from the IRS uh, and that you're in good standing to do business in whatever state of confusion they're in, you can shut the fuck up and push on, or I will own your ass. And I mean own your ass. I will own you for bringing fraud upon the court. I will own you for using a simulated legal process with sham legal pleadings against me. I swear to the Heavenly Father himself that I was put on this earth to annihilate people like that. We always must remain in honor with clean hands to do what's true, correct, and accurate, not misleading at all times. All right? That's the law. It's that fucking simple. It don't get any more cut and clear and dry than that. Statutes, codes, city ordinances, rules, and regulations only apply to those who subject themselves to it by way of contract or voluntarily accepting those terms and conditions. Are we clear? You will not take my property. People go, well, Derek, you only acknowledge uh, the First Amendment through the Tenth Amendment. Yes, that's true. That is true. You want to know why? Because the Fourteenth Amendment ain't worth a broke fucking dick. My right to due process of law is long antecedent to any fucking piece of parchment with ink scribbled on it saying that I had a right to full disclosure, that I had a right to be notified of a trespass prior to being drugged through the public. Yes! I could give two shits about the 14th Amendment. It's a fucking joke. That's only there for people who don't know who the fuck they are. Use my good name without my consent, I, I will put your dick in the dirt. Yes, I will. Oh, and if it's not my name, then who will take the primary active degree of fault and own that motherfucker? Who's the owner? Watch how quickly they all fold. We don't want to deal with that guy. He knows too much. He's too fucking quick. The guy can shift jurisdictions like an 18-wheeler. This motherfucker is quick, savvy, and he's fucking very, very brilliant. We're not going to fuck with him. He's bad for business. And that's all you guys have to do, too, is be bad for business. They don't want to do business with you because they realize real quick they're in a fucking boiling pot of piss and no administrative law clerk is going to join any attorney 
in a boiling pot of piss in a conspiracy against your unalienable rights. Not gonna happen. Ever. Ever. You know how I know this? I have helped many of the meek. I have helped many of the weak, because that's what I'm compelled and commanded to do. Stand against this blatant fucking tyranny and hand people their fucking asses, and they don't know their ass from the hole in the ground in a court. And yet the judge simply looks at the attorneys and says, do you guys need counsel? And the attorneys are bewildered. Well, judge, we are attorneys. Why would we need attorneys? I'm just asking. That's your warning shot across the bow, attorneys. When I'm involved in something and the judge, the administrative law clerk is looking at you asking if you need legal counsel, that's because I've got your nuts strapped to a fucking barn and I'm getting ready to burn that fucker down and hand you a spoon and tell you if you want to live, you can cut those motherfuckers off with a spoon. All right? I've got you dead to fucking rights and that administrative law clerk knows it. Knows it. And he's not about to join in the festivities and get his ass thrown in the ringer. Mm-mm. No, sir. And I've done this on multiple occasions, in multiple different scenarios. It can be done. You have to have the attitude. You have to have the heart. This isn't for the faint of heart. You have to have a little bravado and be able to say, fuck you. Where's your authority? Because all rights are vested in the people. The people, not government, not a simulated legal process, not a judiciary. Here's the other thing, the other kick in the nuts to me. When people go, well, there's there's a, there's a case precedent, it's case law. The judiciary was never authorized to create law. Are you off your fucking rocker? Why are you placating to the people who oppress you? Do you have Stockholm Syndrome? Get the fuck off that. Fuck's wrong with you? Holy shit. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Lord knows I love y'all. Have a blessed, beautiful, wonderful day. Summer's upon us. The new year has happened. All right? And uh, we can make a difference. But you got to have a fucking attitude. All right? I don't let these people tell me in a courtroom that I can't use cuss words. First of all, who determined they were cuss words? You know, because in the Bible, cursing means don't bring leprosy on people. Don't wish them dead. That's cursing people. All right? Fuck, damn, shit, asshole, all these things, bitch. Those are all, they all have different connotations than what you perceive them to have. For example, fuck is fornicating under the king's consent or the consent of the king. Shit is shipment high in transit, all right? So I'll say whatever the fuck I want when I want, and there ain't a damn thing you're going to do about it. And if you don't like the way I talk, then quit inviting me to your bullshit meetings. That's how that works. Capiche? Are we clear? Can't be any more fucking clear than that. Now, there's one other thing that I like to do to these dicks. I like to accept and acknowledge their oath of office in the form of a judicial notice, and I bind them to the contract. Because it's a contract. It's an open-ended contract. Acknowledge and accept it and bind their asses to it. That's how you kick the shit out of them. That's how you put them in their place. Prior to accepting and acknowledging it, it doesn't exist. They're 100% correct. Because everything is contract. Everything. Even trust is a contract. So, with that said, I love you guys. Go nail their nuts to the wall. A few simple questions destroys them. Because they're operating under an artifice and a scheme. Period. End of fucking story. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is clear cut and fucking dry. And with that, I love you. Have a beautiful, blessed day.